they say my kids got one, uh, Hogs, my, uh, my main man's got one, and then um, there's about six or eight around there, so everyone's got one. What was the, what was the fight like from your perspective? Uh, I, I know I'm done. Like, yeah, I, I think I'm done. Like, I mean, I, I love to keep fighting. I love to keep competing, but I think I've got to face the fastest. Don't have that speed. I had. It's about the speed, to be honest. Like, if I, if I had that Mark Hunt one-punch power, I could probably continue, but I don't. Uh, I've got to work so hard to, to fight. I've got to work so hard to get so fit, and I've got to throw a lot of punches, and... At 41, almost 42 years of age, I just um, I just uh, can't, I just can't do it anymore. Um, so I, th I think I'm done. I mean, I, like I could see so many things tonight. In the first round, I threw a right hand, and Hodge sort of caught me in the way in. Went back to the corner, and um, you know, the trainer said to me, "The right hand's there for you. The right hand's there." I said, "Mate, I, just, I, don't, I don't need to throw it. I'm, I'm winning with my left hand. That's all I need to do." And um, yeah, I've got the job done. That's all I had to do tonight. So I want to go to winner, and, and I've, I've done that. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Gal, is there a word off your shoulders? You don't have to train. You can have a beer whenever you want. Is there a good feeling as yeah. you walked out of that room? Yeah, there is. I've, I've done that partially the last few years, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's enjoyable now. I've, I'm happy now. Uh, I, I don't know what's going to motivate me anymore. I really don't. I went into this sport at the start for money. I told you all that from the start. I'm here to, for a payday, and you know, I've done really well, and I can't, um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to do. So there's no other fight that I want. Um, there's no amount of money that's going to get me motivated like I was. So I just, it, it's, time, it's time to finish. How do you reflect? I guess on the boxing career, and also you know, your wider sporting career. Well. Oh, look, I love rugby league. Rugby league was my number one, man. Like, seriously, I was, I'm a footy player through and through. I consider myself a footy player. I had a wonderful time in boxing. I was lucky enough to be with my coach, Graham Shaw, for many years, and I had a great time. And the fights I had, like, mate, they were, they were unbelievable. Like, I went into, went into it to fight in the off-season, have a couple of fights, made a couple of bucks in the off-season, and to have the fights I did were unbelievable, and to, to train the way I did, and, and mate, sparring, I sparred every bloke in Australia. And guys like Jason Whiteley, Joe Goodall, like all, all these guns, I sparred them all, and, you know, look, I went okay against them all. Um, that's why I had some of the bigger fights that I did. And when you look back at my career, the only two guys that beat me were two, the two best fighters in Australia. Justice Horney, we know how good that guy is. Took, took him 10 rounds. Um, in a stoppage for me, that was questionable. He won the fight, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there's that, and there's that. Chris Tervieski, you know. That probably made, made me realise six, six months ago it's time to retire, so... That, they're probably, like, I don't reflect on my fights that much. I don't look back at them too much. But I think them them two fights were pretty special for me. Is it a bit of a regret that the Sunnyville fight never happened in the end? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, And then, like, more financially, like, I said it for, I told you. Like, I told you 12 months ago what would happen. So if anyone wants to listen to my story, go back and read what I said to him 12 months ago. I told everyone what would happen. Um, I've never had an issue with Sonny Bill Williams. I've, I've always liked him, I've always respected him. Um, but he wa always waits for someone to get too old until he fights him, and that's what he's waiting for with me. And I'm not going to give him that chance. I'm not going to give him the chance for now. I'm past my best, I'm not going to give him the chance. He's done it with all his opponents, and um, he got caught out recently. That's life. Uh, I'm, very, I, I'm disappointed we didn't do it. I, I really am. We should have fought twice. I should have fought back on four or five years ago when I was calling him out. And. Um, you know, whoever won that fight, the other, whoever lost could have said, look, we're footy players back then, we're, we're professional boxing, let's do it again and made more money. And then if it's one all, do a huge decider. If, it's, if someone's won 2-1, then full credit to that person. But um, we've never had much beef along the way. I've always, I've always just said he was scared to fight me. Uh, he called me out saying the 60-40 contract. We've never had beef. And then he came out a couple of months ago and said he's just not a good person. And, that that was like that was the end of it for me. Like who the fuck say things to judge me as a person? Like that was the worst. That was the worst thing. Th as I said, there's no beef between us. It was just a tit for tat, tit for tat. I want to fight you. Want to fight me? But for him to just try and judge me as a person, I was like, that's the end of it. You know. So I uh, I come out and said what I said about him and said what I thought about him. And uh, you know, there's there's no relationship there. And um, I don't. I never want there to be. I don't really care. It's a shame because it'll be a pub debate. Like, in the prime, we'll never know who was the better one. Uh, yeah, no, we know, mate. Yeah, well, we you know, know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I've never been that person to say I would have beat him, should have, should have beat him, could have beat him, whatever. I, I don't care. But 
yeah, it, it ended when he when that comment came. So I went back twice as hard and told everyone what I thought of him, and um, it's done now. It will be that part debate forever. It will be, but um, yeah, look, I I I got no. I don't like him, but I mean, I said, I said to someone, I said to someone the other day, you know, someone asked me, would, would you keep fighting if you're Sonny Bill Williams? Yeah, I would. He's 37 years of age. Look what I've done in the past since I was 30. I retired at 38, 38, 39, 40. Look what I did. Look at the blokes I fought. Look at the money I made. Like, he's still got it. He's, he can still do it. He got beaten by Mark Hunt, who's a legend, one of the hardest punches in the world. So, I'm not saying Sonny should stop. I'm just saying I'll never fight him. Nice t-shirt, there you go. Yeah, How yeah. much has Boxing been? Oh, it's been great. I mean, by the way, everyone, let's just make it clear, I didn't ever make $25 million. <laughs> okay. I, I wish if we made $25 million, I wouldn't have fought tonight. That's, 26 after that was, that was apparently <laughs> that was, that was apparently the turnover. So I just... Is there a I, chance you'll buy the boys a drink? I, I got no chance. <laughs> no chance. I got a... I, I, got, I think it was actually... I think it was uh, Jamie Pandam who wrote the figures in the paper the other day, so that's where I got that from. So I had no idea about the figures, but obviously that's the turnover or the gross figure made from uh, pay-per-view, and um, oh, I had no idea about it, but uh, it's, been, it's been great for me. I obviously never made that much money, but uh, I've had a great time, and uh, I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. You know what? At the end of the day, well, I've had a lot of money, had a great time. It has been special for me and something I can sit back and think about some of the guys I've promoted along the way. I've, I've actually enjoyed that. You know, especially Tim Zoo, and especially the fact Tim Zoo bought into it. He like he he bought, like there's guys no, there's, there's guys that are not going to buy into it. Boxing's not going to buy into. It. I hate it. I know they hate it, but facts are facts, mate. Boxing's is big in Australia. Rugby league's huge. Eastern side of Australia, everyone's going to watch a footy player fight. That's the way it is. Tim Zoo bought into it, and um, look where he is now. I'm not I'm not claiming anything for Tim Zoo because he wouldn't have done it without. His ability and his dedication to the sport, he done it himself. But to provide that platform for him early on, along with his name, you know, I helped him get to where he get to. And uh, and he respects that and understands that, and I, and, I, and I appreciate that, and that's something that means a lot to me. Gail, a big, big reason for the turnover you created was your ability to sell fights. Yeah. There is a bit of a void now that you're going. Do you have any advice for footy players, boxers, um, you know, who are coming into it to try and generate some publicity for boxing? you got to understand it's entertainment. That's what it is. It's entertainment. It's, um, you know, how many people standing around here listening to me talk right now? Right? That's, that's entertainment I'll provide. Everyone wants to hear what I'm about to say. So you've you got to you got to appeal to people. Um, and, and you know what? Not everyone can do that. It's just something that some people have, some people don't. Um, you now, obviously, I must have it. But you just got to be able to appeal to people and understand that you need to entertain people and... It's not always about just being in the ring and being able to punch and being able to fight. You've got to entertain people before. You've got to make people want to watch. So, you know, I, I couldn't give anyone advice on how to do it. All I know is that's what you've got to do. And I, I don't know how I've done it. You know, there's just something about some people that people like. Like Mark Lee, I think Mark Lee's a wanker, but everyone loves him. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, he, 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 he put it, like, you talk about, you talk, but he don't have 25 million a year, the amount he's on. And I'm like, how the fuck does he do this? Like, seriously. But, but, you know what? There's something about him that people want to listen to him. And that's just the way it is. And that for some reason, there was something about me. People either A, want to see me win, or B, want to see me get knocked out cold. Same as Effie Mundy. Effie Mundine was probably, I would say, 60% people want to see him get knocked out cold, but people still bought to watch it. They still paid to watch it. So for whatever the reason, um, you know, people want to see people win or lose, and that's just the way it is. I, I couldn't give anyone advice on how to do it. You just, you've got it or you don't. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Gal. Thank you. We're done, buddy. We're done. Last press conference ever.